High traders made over $113,000 yesterday and I'm going to be even more aggressive today because I can expect the market direction. Again, we're starting with a huge gap down and I'm going to short SPCE here because it just moved under this consolidation area and I'm going to take it with 12,000 shares short. It's a big risk. $1 stop loss short now. That means I'm risking approximately $12,000. If it moves over twenty fifty, I'll be out. Semi whole number and it's supposed to protect me if it moves higher. Well, I'm afraid that uh, my first trade is going the wrong way. I'm going to stop it over 2050. Watch the sellers here. 2050, big number of sellers. It may save me. But if it moves a cent over 2050, and just did, I'm out. Well, I'm starting my day with a $14,000 loser. I knew I was taking the risk and I'm ready for it. Tesla's looking good. And again, I'm not discouraged by taking just one bad trade. I would like to take Tesla for short if it moves under 640. So take a good look here at Tesla. Stock is down 5%. The market keeps coming down. And I'm about to short it with 8,000 shares. That's a big risk under 6 And Tesla just uh, made this move under 640, which looks great. Now, Tesla is very interesting because the market moved up a bit in the direction of closing the gap. Tesla did not move with the market, but it's coming down now. And look at Beyond. Beyond did move with the market up. I expect the market to come down. Therefore, I'm going to short Beyond right here. And again, I'm taking large size, 12,000 shares. About to take my short here. Okay, I'm short. 12,000 shares in Beyond. I'm guessing the market should come down from here. Therefore, Beyond should continue coming down. And look at the numbers, $12,000, $13,000. And we're going 15000 16 17 19 Go, go, Beyond, $20,000, $23,000. Let's continue. I have a long, long target here. Usually, I would have had my partial somewhere around here. I'm having a great trade right now, like $0.40 cents or so. I've, I have no intention of taking my partial over here. I'm looking for a much, much bigger move. Look at the numbers here, $40,000 almost. SPCE, second trade in SPCE, about to initiate right now. 12,000 shares, about to short. It's finally breaking down. I'm short. It's my second trade in SPCE. First one failed. Let's hope this one's going to work out. Okay, so Beyond came down, did not break down under the lows, consolidated for a while, even moved up a bit. But again, I'm waiting for it to come down. And at the same time, watching Big, which is kind of the same idea as Beyond. Stock moved higher, first pullback. I don't expect it to succeed because Big is down 25%. A stock that is down 25% is not supposed to continue. It's just about to break down, in my opinion. I'm about to short here. It's going to be 12,000 shares. I'm short. Now, again, the quantity I'm trading today is four times my usual quantity. And that is due because of the market situation. I expect the market to come down. SPCE failed to move lower, pulled back up. Now it's coming down again. And I'm about to add another 6,000 shares. I'm short 12,000, about to go to 18, going to 18 right now. So I think it's trending lower. It looks to me like it's trending lower. The market's finally coming down again. And I think SPC should make its big move right now. Tesla just breaking now under the laws. Look at this beautiful trade. Look at the numbers here, $136,000 at going. And I thought yesterday's $113,000 was a great trading day. Look at my numbers today. Here we go, a new low in Tesla. That's the big move. I, you know, usually my targets are much smaller, but due to the circumstances right now, the market's coming down, I should take bigger profits. About to take my partial here at any sign of a bull pullback. Now, took my partial. Left just 200 shares. I was waiting for Tesla to come down under the lows. And again, usually my target would be less than half what I'm looking for right now. So bigger risks, bigger targets. But since I can expect the market, I'm doing well. Beyond came down under the lows. Look at this consolidation area we talked about here 
about this one earlier and again no partial in beyond I'm still short 12,000 shares triple as much as they usually take and I'm about to take my partial now at the first time of pullback I just took my partial same game as Tesla bigger risks bigger, bigger targets so big is spiking all over and I'm getting tired of this one I gotta take my partial it's not like what I expected but I'm going to cover covering now left just 400 shares that's a small winner compared to the potential but really it was just going sideways there's no reason to to remain in this trade anymore SPC is about to hit me once more if it moves over 21 look at the whole numbers here whole number here lots of sellers if it moves up oh <laughs> it just did I'm out my second loser in SPCE not much I could do about this one I am interested uh, to know what my traders are doing today so let's ask them I'm gonna add my very green now because <laughs> I am very green oh this is so so nice to make money on an environment like we have today this is just so good we're at 86 percent right now 87 percent all of my trades are posted right here in the trading room and you are very welcome to join us just click here for a free 14 day trial now let's take a look at the market and see what happened today traders uh, watch the s p it's down three and a half percent right now again started approximately the same place as expected moved up as expected did not close the gap because it's a huge gap we've mentioned this fact here in the trading room for so many times you don't expect it to close the gap you expect some upside pressure but you don't expect it to close the gap then you look for a pullback the first pullback would usually be the failure to continue to move higher and that was this red candle I mentioned this red candle however before it was red the reason I mentioned it before it was red was because it moved up almost 50% in the direction of closing the gap and that was in my opinion too much why was that in my opinion too much because I've seen like several thousands of incidents like that happening before not with 3% though but it usually works the same way even with a smaller gap you don't expect a big gap to be covered and then you look for the failure there's two options here one it's going to come down a bit and continue over the highs we discussed that that was the option which would have cost me money because I did not take my partials in the stocks that I was trading that was the option that I was afraid of but I also mentioned that it's not a very like likely option because of what happens in the market in the recent days it was exactly the same thing yesterday so those of you who traded with me yesterday you all know we did the same thing we were waiting for the market to come down we did not expect it to move over the highs and the market did continue coming down well later the day it moved up and then came down but the behavior during the first 30 minutes or one hour is quite the same as we're seeing now this is to be expected then the market came down that was the point to take your partials I have to say I started taking my partial here just below above the low I thought we're done around here but we continue to come down a bit more there's an extended wide range candle here with high volume and that's a good sign for a pullback and here comes the pullback what's coming next absolutely no idea but you know when you take a look at the way the market behaved today you knew you should wait for the market to fail to move higher you should get into shorts take your shorts as the market was coming down do not take your partials which I usually do when the market's pulling back down because I don't know if the market's going to continue over the highs or not trust the market to continue down this time under the lows wait for a bigger partial like I took beyond for over five points that's not something I usually do why again expecting the market volatility expecting the market to continue down and once you write hopefully you write then you cash in big time 
and you want to see how big here it is that's how big 3000 dollars in beyond in big 59000 dollars in beyond $120,000 in Tesla, did not break my record in Tesla. <laughs> uh, big two losers in space. Um, larger quantity than usual, I knew I was getting into the same situation like yesterday. Told you yesterday, larger quantity, bigger stops, taking more risks, need more money in the account. I made sure I have more money in the account. I make sure I have enough buying power to do everything I wanted today. And the end result, $159,000. Actually, over one hundred sixty, including my open trades, because my open trades are currently at, here it is, four grand. So I've got over $160,000 still riding some big beyond and Tesla. It's very small sized, nothing that can risk my account today. So that all was finished approximately 15 minutes ago. So not a bad job for 30 minutes of trading. And I'm done for the day. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14 day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004 and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.